Welcome to Natty's Crafts. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let's get crafting. We're gonna make a decorative bowl that will be food safe. These are the supplies you'll need. And this is a Dollar Tree bowl, one of the plastic bowls from the party section. We're gonna start by taking off that pesky sticker. And then we're gonna need to clean it really well because we're gonna paint it. So I'm cleaning it with some alcohol. And then once it's dry, we're gonna go ahead and put a layer of Mod Podge on here. Now I am using the uh, dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Not necessary if you're only gonna be putting, you know, decorative stuff or, you know, no food in there, but it's what I happen to do. So I am gonna just Mod, po mod Podge it all over on the outside, not the inside, just the outside. And then once that's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it and I'm gonna paint it white. Surprise, surprise, it's not black. So I'm gonna paint it white and I'm gonna do two coats. The first coat is just a rough coat so that it's completely covered. Now again, if you had a clear bowl, you wouldn't have to do two coats. You could just do one coat most likely. But I'm gonna do two coats and when you use a brush, of course you're gonna get brush lines on it. So I went back, once the first coat was done, I went back with the little, um, this thing, the dauber, is that what it is? I don't know. And I'm just gonna daub, just do that. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know what words to use, I'm sorry. You see what I'm doing though, and I'm gonna do that all over the place. Just one coat like this, and it's completely covered. If you would have chosen gray, it would have looked really cool, like concrete. And then I'm gonna use these beads. I got them, I think, from Aldi. It's St. Patrick's Day beads. So I got them on sale. I don't know, they're probably a dollar, dollar fifty. But we are gonna have to take them apart because of course there's green on there. So we're gonna take off the little St. Patrick's Day charm and then I'm gonna have to separate the beads, take all the green ones off. Which if you have normal beads, then this is a step you're just, you don't need to do. But this is what I had to do because this is what I had. And also if you had half beads, those ones from Amazon, that would work much better. But I didn't. <laughs> so after I have the beads the way I need them to be, then I have to measure to make sure they're gonna fit all the way around. I did end up having to add a few, I think I added like four or five onto the back there. And I'm hot gluing because this bowl is not straight across nor even. And so I'm hot gluing to keep every couple of inches, every what, like two inches or so, I'm hot gluing the beads down so that they stay in place. And then in the back, I just tied a simple bow just to keep it tight. And that's it, that was it. That was the quickest thing ever in life. But it's cute, and I happen to be using it for flowers right there, but in reality, I'm gonna use it on my kitchen table. It's not really a table, but it's whatever, it's kitchen table. And that's where I'm gonna have like mail and snacks and stuff like that. But I thought it was cute. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I sure do appreciate it. I'd love it if you'd go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe. Whenever you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell so that you know when the next video comes out. I try to do videos on Tuesdays. Or if there's a challenge I'm able to do, then I go whatever day the challenge is. But usually Tuesdays. So I appreciate again that you stopped by. And do remember to always appreciate today as tomorrow is never promised.